Well, this is terrifying. This is really so unlike me. Like, I don't know what has possessed me to do this, but here we are. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I typically, like, I don't make these kind of videos, but I do love watching them. I'm going to be dyeing my hair today. So as you guys know, I pretty much have dark black hair. When I was younger, I used to have like a dark brown with like some natural highlights. So, and recently I just wanted to make a change. I've never dyed my hair before. It's always just been like brown. And then recently in the past like the couple years, it's just completely turned black like it's like it's completely black it's kind of gelled down right now just dyeing it this bronze color it's like a light brown so here's what my hair is now it's black and it'll end up being this like brown color and then if i like that i'll keep it but if i want to spice it up um there's this tiktoker that i like her name's devin wrinkler wrinkler i don't know her name i'll put her pictures of her right here but she's so beautiful and i love how her hair looks and i kind of want to do that to my hair not like as intense but like i'm just obsessed with her she's so beautiful six c honey blonde and i'm just gonna do highlights with this but i probably i may or may not do this step though but the one i'll be dyeing my hair is the 6bv bronze and this is the texture and tones by clairol um it has no ammonia and like no alcohol or anything in it at least i think so i'm not 100 sure but i've seen other people with my kind of hair i have like 3c 4a hair um so and i've seen a plenty of people do this to their hair and they say it's not super damaging at all i mean clearly i'm okay with a little bit of damage just because like i and will be lightening my hair but i have watched a lot of people dye their hair with this and it comes out fine they have like literally little to no damage at all so i'm really excited this is like four dollars at walmart but then at cvs it was like nine dollars so if you guys want to find it there's that, but I rec I read that it's better to not do this on washed hair. Um, just slipped it down because me and my friend Kaylee did a photo shoot, which I don't know by the time this video goes up, I'll be posting pictures from that, but we just took the pictures today. That's why I look kind of oily, so sorry about it. But yeah, also I hate my shower curtain in my bathroom. I don't really film in here because the lighting is like really orange. Not a fan, but you know, today we kind of have to do it to him. So I just wanted to bring you guys along on this hair dyeing thing. So let me stop talking. Let's get into the video. So I don't know the best way to film this. Like, do I, or do I look in here? Don't, don't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some dirty clothes on, not dirty clothes, but clothes I don't care about on, and then I'll come back to you guys. Hey guys, so now that I look like the freaking monster from Stranger Things. I'll read the directions. I've kind of already skimmed over them earlier. Um, I think I'm gonna wear the gloves. I know a lot of people say they like to like feel their hair, but like I also don't want my like hands to burn off. I don't really know. I'm just gonna wear them. You know, I really just don't want this to end poorly because now that I'm documenting it for the internet, like I really have to make sure I don't fumble a bag here. So so i this is kind of scary but like it says to do it on dry hair my my hair like my good sis is definitely dry so we don't have to worry about that one i definitely met the mark there um uh, to prevent any standing smear little moisture around your hairline not forgetting the base of your neck and behind your ears be careful not to apply on your roots use an old towel to protect clothing and other household services okay so let's get some conditioner and cover my forehead because y'all know my hairline's already jacked up so if i like stain it i don't want to think about it so I'm just gonna put, oh, but some of my, it doesn't matter. Just take some of this, Gov. So that's Alex she put me on. Um, just spread it on my forehead. Nobody else really did this, but I've never dyed my hair before, so I'm gonna just look like a weenie for a little bit. Weenie hot junior. And just follow the directions. I'm lucky, like, scared, but it's fine. Okay, like, I really cannot afford to get caught slipping. Also, these pieces never made it to a braid. I don't know why I did that. Ooh, it's minty. That feels good. Okay. Oh, I should wipe this off my hands. So, this is what it comes with. It comes with gloves, directions, and these things. So, it actually, the one thing I, that drew me to choose this one than of the other, like, kind of natural hair ones is that this comes with an intensing moisturizer conditioner. So, I'll use this in the shower after I dye my hair. Place glove finger wrap paper chip, shake the bottle thoroughly until the color is uniform, mixing it, mixture thickens. 
apply color immediately following instruction at right. Okay, so I just pour this in here and shake it. Also, I really feel like this is not gonna be enough for my head. Do you see this? It's like halfway full. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't believe I'm actually doing this. This is like so unlike me. Am I okay? Guys, I can really like jack up my whole life right now. This is like kind of terrifying. Okay, now we put the thing back on. I'm like so calm, but I'm actually terrified. I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. Should I get a like Polaroid picture? You know what? That was embarrassing for me. So I put it to my ends, let it process for 10 to 15 minutes, and then put it on my roots. Well, I'm really scared. Well, I can't believe I'm really doing this. Am I okay? I don't know. So we're gonna start with this back section right here. We're just gonna go for it. Um, let me just like, do I have a clip in here? Wow, this is like, I'm such a beauty guru. Okay, I'm gonna just like put all my hair up. This is gonna be really a treat for all of us, this hairstyle. So I'm gonna just take out this braid. Okay, and then we're just gonna do, let me look in the mirror for this, I don't jack it up. Oh gosh, guys, we're really doing it. My mom used to cut color hair all the time and like, my sister's literally like blonde, but like, this is such like not, oh, I definitely just touched my roots, so that's cute. It's fine, everything's fine. If I run out, I'm gonna be really pressed. And also I can't touch my camera now. That was really poor planning. But yeah, I'm just gonna rake it through and make sure everything has some color and then I definitely can go back in the bathroom. So I'm gonna put this around my neck just in case. You know, we're real professional around these parts with hair dyeing, so. I'm gonna go bottom by bottom. That way, it'll be at least even. Also, rip to the scrunchie, because I'm probably just gonna ruin it. It's fine. So, I should clip this together. If I was, like, a legit hairstylist, maybe I would know what I'm doing. But, yeah, I'm just gonna go, like, horizontally when I color it. That way, if it's super blonde on the first piece that I do, at least it'll be, like, horizontal. At least it'll kind of make sense. Oh my gosh. What if this turns out, like, horrible? I'm gonna be so... Hurt. And it's gonna hurt even more that I filmed it and put it on the internet too. Cause there's no going back now. I already told people that, I already mentioned in my last video that I was doing this. So like I really can't back out now. Also when people like do their dot hair dyeing videos, they're always like, haha, that's what break down, like whatever. But like, I'm not like that. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like he, like I'm just quiet. So like when I'm freaking out, I get quiet. Some people get loud when they're freaking out, but like I do the opposite. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera off now because I need to shut up and just do this. So hopefully I don't get my camera like broken or something. 20 minutes later. Yeah, so the deed is done, the original deed. So I have to put it in my ends, let it wait for 10 minutes and then do my roots. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I feel right now. Um, so it's been 10 minutes since I started the back. So I guess I need to give my fronts 10 minutes. So I guess at 11.16. Does that make sense? I don't know. I went as fast as I could. So I'm just going to give it 10 minutes um, for my ends. Yeah, I'm just going to watch a YouTube video and try not to freak out. It's crazy how many of these videos that I've watched and like now that I'm doing it, I'm like freaking out. Like what if my hair turns purple or something? I don't know. I never really had like a rebellious teenager face. So I'm kind of feeling like this is accomplishing that need for me, you know? Because I feel like ever since I was born, I've really just been like an old soul. Like honestly, not even trying to be like, I'm superior, but like... I've just never really been into like crazy stuff and even as a teenager, I'm about to be 20 this year, like, ma'am, call the police. Whoa, don't call the police anymore. We don't say that anymore. Berries for breakfast. Um, like, who is she? She's such a rebellious teenager. Like, wow. TV. Also, there's a sunburn. Wow, look at that middle part. Can we just take a moment to think about that middle part? Anyways, I have a sunburn on my scalp because my dumb self went outside and forgot to put sunscreen on my scalp. Don't forget to do that because then you'll look like me. Miss Tomato Scalp, so. Okay, my battery's blinking. Hey. Um, so it's 6 p.m. Mm. and Matt's left for work. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys. My skin's about to burn off, goodbye. Cool So I have it on my phone right now because my um, camera died, of course, literally. Why? But I'm just basically trying to use up the rest of this. My hair is completely coated. My roots are like coated, everything like this is really in there. I'm already kind of starting to see it lighten up a little bit. 
But I just want to make sure she's really saturated because I'm going to be so pressed if sister does not come through or it's not even so far. I'm just going to use this one because I don't, I never really like this color anyways. It's pretty, but I like my forehead. But yeah, I'm just going to really, I have like a lot more left than I thought. So, um, like look at my hair. She's so cute. The curls are really popping. I mean, I'm not too worried because I'm going from black to brown. So like, it's not going to be a super dramatic change anyways, but I'm just so, so a little nervous or I should, okay. And let them sit right here and then I'm really taking out a bag. I'm just making sure that all the bases are covered. Hey guys, so where's my phone at? I just had it. Okay, so it's currently 12.07. I've had this on for 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to, y'all, I'm really like scared. This is like, I think I'm gonna walk in the shower with this on just so like the extra heat can really like do any last minute changes. So yeah, I will talk to you guys after the shower. Okay guys, so I haven't seen my hair yet. I just got out of the shower. The conditioning, like mask that it comes with smells so good it smells like like apricots or something it smells amazing but like as i was like conditioning my hair some of my hair was falling out because so my hair always falls out in the shower so this is not because of like what i like coloring it it's just because i haven't detangled it in like like three days and so like whenever i don't detangle it like literally like almost every other day like stuff falls out of it so i'm waiting until my mirror becomes a little less foggy so that way i'm gonna record wait my mirror's kind of foggy right now, so I'm just gonna let my bathroom kind of like air dry a little bit, and then, um, yeah, but like my hair is coming out, and I was putting it, so I have this like pile of hair in my shower, which it sounds gross, but if you have curly hair, you know, like, I think your hair just falls out when you're in the shower, so. And I was like putting my new hair on like the pile, because I clean it out like once a week, so don't worry, it's not like disgusting. But, like, I was looking at how much different it was than the pile of my, uh, like, my black hair. And I was like, oh, gosh. Like, what did I just do? It's so hard to walk in the bathroom and not look in the mirror because there's, like, mirrors everywhere. I'm really trying to have a genuine, like, first. I'm trying to have a genuine first reaction on camera for you. I can't really see from here, so don't worry. Three, two, one. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. Okay. okay. That's not bad. I don't know if it's because I did that part first, but honestly, y'all, I'm re I'm really not mad at it. Like you can see, I don't know if that looks bad, but from what I'm seeing right now, I'm a fan of it. I'm gonna do before I go to bed because it's almost like one in the morning and I'm tired. I'm going to, I'm gonna add this Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist. It's their deep conditioner with avocado and Australian jojoba oil. I'm to wash this out, but I don't really wash out conditioner because my hair is so low porosity that sis needs it. And I'm gonna do a teensy bit of this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, also ripped because I dropped this and like the lid just like shattered. So I'm just gonna do mostly this and a little bit of this. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, they're doing, they're chopping on trees outside. So if you hear something, I'm so sorry. Okay, first of all, let me get out of the light because that was too much. But it's 3.46 right now. What I'm going to put in it, I'm going to like see how it feels when I take it out because I've had it in this since last night. Um, and I'm just going to put in some soft jelly soft curls. This is by Miss Jessie's. This stuff smells so good and it literally like, it defines my curls so well, but it also makes keeps them soft. Like they are a little bit... I don't want to say, they're not crunchy and they're not hard, but it holds my curls firm. Like, there definitely is, like, a little bit of, like, structure to them, I guess you could say. With that, but then they're still, like, light and fluffy at the same time, so it's really, really good. And this one's, like, $12, but I know the Pillow Soft Curls, which is, like, the one everybody loves, is, like, $22. And I just don't know if I can justify spending $22 on one product yet, but if I ever do, I'll let you guys know. The second thing is, this is the Aussie um, Miracle Curl stuff. I used the deep conditioner from this line last night. And this is just the one with coconut and jojoba oil or whatever. So I might use this, but I don't know yet. So I'm just going to take her off. Okay, see like the root? I don't know if that's bad or good. Because when my hair is out, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but like, 
it's kind of scary at first i don't know but i'm just gonna take out these braids it's so weird having brown hair like can y'all see that she is brown yeah i really can't believe i did this i know you guys know that i was talking about maybe um doing highlights and honestly i don't know if that's gonna go very well i think i'm just gonna like do this brown and then see how i feel about it if i want to try because i don't want to risk it because i like how this brown turned out so far and i don't want to like jack it up by trying to do the most you know what i mean so i think i might just count my losses here like well, yeah my hair is definitely still like a dark brown it's not like a light brown but this is kind of the color i was going for anyways so i'm really not mad at it because i didn't want to go like crazy because my sister has blonde hair and i don't want her to be like oh you're copying me like no it's not no i just wanted a little bit lighter than black so i think i did a pretty good job for what i was going for that's where i'm at right now but look she's brown we'll be like more chill later on but yeah i'm probably hope i parted it for me too like you could be able to see like see look i mean i didn't do like 100 percent on the roots but you know you win some you lose some the finished hair guys you know i'm really not mad at it for my first time ever dying by myself like i think it's pretty cute so <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here but thank you guys so am i sweating Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you like it, if you think I should go lighter, if you think I should use the highlights, whatever. If you guys tried this stuff out, let me know down below. I will leave a link to the hair dyes, I'll leave a link to any of the products I mentioned. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic, wonderful day, night, year, whenever you're watching this. Yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.